responsable. Judges ready? Audience ready? Yeah. Let's begin. However, it begins, it's gotta be loud. And it's gotta get a little bit louder. Because, because this is how you write a political poem and how you deliver with power. 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 Mixed current events. Climate change. Nuclear weapons. Fake news. Platitudes of empowerment. Wrap it up and rhyme. Or wrap it up and rhyme. Until it sounds true. Pipe the power. Somewhere in Florida. Pipe the power. Somewhere in Florida. Pipe the power. Somewhere in Florida. Pipe the powers that be. Boom. Word to your mother. Hi, Mom! Glare until it sinks in. <laughs> because somewhere in Florida, votes are still being counted. I said somewhere in Florida, votes are still being counted. See, that's the hook. And you've got to have a hook. More than the look. It's the hook that's the most important part. The hook's got to fit and the hook's got to hit. The hook's got to hit hard, hard in the, the heart. heart. Notice, it has somehow become uncool to sound like you know what you're talking, talking about, about or believe strongly in what you're saying. Invisible question marks and parenthetical you, you know have been attaching themselves to the end of our sentences, sentences even when those sentences aren't like questions, you, you know? know. It doesn't matter if you blame the media that dang iPhone or the lack of hardships that face the younger generation. Such as having to walk downhill both ways, to and from school. The problem remains. Today's society lacks the originality and the creativity that allows us to formulate and communicate our own ideas. From recycling Disney classics every 10 years. <laughs> it's a whole new world. <sighs> to adopting mannerisms that have become trendy. Oof, no you. To tweeting in the third person. The Trump Russia story was used as an excuse by the Democrats as justification for losing the election. <laughs> Perhaps Trump just ran a great campaign. And Taylor Molly's collection of poems. <laughs> Conviction. The works. How to write a political poem. Like total whatever, you know. And the impotence of proofreading. Are combined to reveal the repetitive nature of our communication. And to spark our imaginations into coming up with fun and unique ways <laughs> to, to express, express ourselves. ourselves. Declarative sentences, so called, because they used to like declare, declare things, things to be true. Okay, as opposed to other things that are like, like totally, totally, you know, not, have been affected by a totally hip and tragically cool interrogative tone. You, you know? know, like don't think I'm uncool just because I've like noticed this. Okay, it's just the word on the street. It's, it's like what I've heard. heard. I have nothing personally invested in my own opinions. I'm just inviting you to join me on the bandwagon of my uncertainty. What has, has happened, happened to our conviction? conviction? Where are the limbs out on which we once walked? Have they been like chopped down? With the rest of the rainforest? Or do we have like nothing to say? <laughs> Society becomes so like totally, I, I mean, absolutely, you know, that we've just gotten to the point where it's just like whatever. So, actually, our circulation -ness is just a sort of clever thing. thing to disguise the fact that we've become the, the most aggressively inarticulate generation to come along since, you know, like a uh, long, long time ago. I entreat you. I implore you. I exhort you. We, we challenge, challenge you to speak with conviction. To say what you believe in a manner that bespeaks the determination with which you believe it. Because contrary to the wisdom of the bumper sticker, it is not enough these days to simply question authority. You, you have, have to speak, speak with it too. Somewhere in Florida, folks are still being counted. Has this ever happened to you? <clears throat> you work very hard on a paper for English class. And then get a very glow right. Like a D. Or even a D equals. And all because you're the words liver or spoiler. Proofreading your peppers is of the utmost impotence. This is a problem that affects manly, manly <laughs> students. <laughs> I myself was such a bad spiller once upon a term that my English teacher in my sophomore year Mrs. Smith said you'll never get into a good colleague and that's all I wanted uh. just to get into a good colleague 
Not anal community, Collie. <laughs> because you will be happy at anal community, Collie. I needed a place that would offer me intellectual simulation. I really needed to be challenged. Challenged dentally. I know. This makes me sound like a stereo. But I really wanted to go to an ivory legal colleague. So I got myself. A spell checker. And figured I was on Sleazy Street. But there were several missed eggs. That a spell checker can't can't catch. Catch. Can't can't catch. 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 Can't can't catch. For instance, if you accidentally leave a word, your spell checker won't put it in you. And God forbidding purposes only, you should have serial problems with, with Tory spelling. spelling. Your spell might replace a word with one you had. Absolutely no detention of using, because what do you want it to do? It only does what you tell it to do. <laughs> You're the one with your hand on the mouth going clit, clit, clit. This just goes to show you how embargo one kill is clit of the mouth can be. This reminds me of one time during my junior mint when my English teacher decided to read my entire paper on a sale of two titties <laughs> out loud to all of my ass mates. I'm not joking, I'm totally serial. It was the most humidifying experience of my life. Being laughed at cubically. So do yourself a flavor and follow these two pieces of advice. One. There is no prostitute for careful editing. And three. When it comes to proofreading, somewhere, somewhere in Florida, Florida votes are still being counted. Somewhere in Florida, votes are still being counted. Remember, however it begins, it's, it's got to be louder. And then it's got to get a little bit louder. Glare. It's just in somewhere in Florida, votes are still being counted. And Donald Trump is peeing all over himself in spasmodic delight. Collusion. Make fun of politicians. It's, it's easy. Especially with Republicans. Like Mike Pence, Marco Rubio, and Hillary Clinton. You see what he just did there? Correct fatuous <laughs> juxtapositions of <coughs> personalities <coughs> and political philosophies. <laughs> as a communism with the opposite of democracy. <laughs> as if we needed Darth Vader. Not Ralph Nader. Who's Ralph Nader? Peep this, when I say call, you say response. Call! Response? Call! Response! Call! Amazing grace, how sweet the stop in the middle of a song that everyone knows and loves. This will give your poem a sense of urgency. urgency. Because there's always a sense of urgency. urgency in a political poem. There is no time to waste. Corruption doesn't have a curfew. Green, Green doesn't, doesn't care, care what color you are. And the New York City Police Department is filled with people who wear guns on their hips and carry metal badges pinned over their hearts. Injustice isn't injustice, injustice is just in us as we are just in ice. ice. That's the only alienation of this alienation, alienation in which you either fight for freedom free or else you are free and dumb. <laughs> and even as I say this, somewhere, somewhere in Florida, Florida, votes are still being counted. And it makes me wonder. It makes me want to, it makes me want to <laughs> Because I've seen that disintegration of gentrification and to great articulation about cosmic consolations, I've seen E.W. Griffiths, Tours of a Nation, but Burford 101 Dalmatians. Like a cross-examination, I will give you the explanation of why slam nation is the ultimate manifestation of poetic masturbation and egotistical ejaculation. <laughs> On board. Green doesn't care. Somewhere in Florida. Green doesn't care. Somewhere in Florida. Green doesn't care. Somewhere in Florida. Corruption doesn't have a curfew. Huh. Where it's your mother. Don't. Oh. And maybe they are still counting votes somewhere in Florida. <laughs> but by the time you get to the end of this poem, it won't matter anymore. Because all you have to do is close your eyes. Lower your voice and end by saying the same line three times, the same line three times, the same line three times.